Hi, Sagittarius. How are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma, and this is your Clear Love Weekly Reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be taking a look at the person you are with or the person that you think about the most. How do they feel about you? How do they see you? Spirit's guidance and the probable outcome of this connection. Please keep in mind that my weekly readings are much quicker than my monthly readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information and details are below. So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, what messages of clarity, inspiration, guidance, healing, understanding, and enlightenment do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 9th through January 16th, 2020, regarding their person or the person that they think about the most? How does this person feel for Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius, Holy Spirit? How does this person feel about Sagittarius? You guys, I'm not taking flipped cards in case you're wondering because I didn't set my intentions on taking flipped cards, okay? So if I had set my intentions on taking any cards, I would, but I set my intentions on shuffling and breaking the deck prior to recording, so I have to stick to that to make sure that you guys get the messages intended for you. High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, Judgment. They are really in their feels about you right now, Sagittarius. Okay, you guys could be dealing with some sort of like disagreement right now. You have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, they feel like either they're hiding something or you're hiding something and they wanna bring balance. Um, I feel like they're really going within trying to understand how can they bring balance to this connection. Somebody needs to open up. Somebody isn't being very emotionally vulnerable in this connection, but they feel like you are the one. They feel like you are the person that they want to be with, and they're trying to bring balance or healing into this connection, and they're just not sure how to do that. I feel you could be dealing with a Libra here. Somebody just could be keeping things to themselves, like not, and I feel the other person feels like the truth needs to be told. Sagittarius, like someone feels like they're not getting the whole truth of what's really happening. I don't know if you guys live at a distance or you just don't talk very much. Holy Spirit, how does this person see Sagittarius? How does this person see Sagittarius? They feel like there's not enough reciprocation and that things are off balance. How do they see Sagittarius? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. That's also the second lover's card. Okay. Yeah, they have a they see you as somebody who's very attractive. Okay. But you have the seven of cups, so they also see that you got a lot going on. And they really, they see you as somebody that they're not quite sure if they can trust. They see you as a very passionate person who just kind of does things. You kind of fly by the seat. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I also feel like they think you're seeing somebody else or that you have too many options going on and that you're not really focused on them, right? Um, I think that they also see this connection as a very deep connection, a, a tight bond, but also in some ways a little bit toxic, okay? They know that there's some toxicity, that there's some things that could be better between the two of you. But they're very, they see this, they see, when they think of you, they're confused. They're confused and they're overwhelmed. They don't know what to make of this situation. They just know, I feel like this connection may have been very sexual as well. Let's look at the guidance here. Holy Spirit, what guidance do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do you have for Sagittarius? What guidance do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Guidance, Sagittarius, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. You've. <laughs> 
I feel like you're moving towards stability. Everybody's getting these cards about letting go of the old and moving in with the new because, you know, it's the full moon. So this full moon that's coming up is going to be clearing karma from the last six years. So anything that no longer serves you will be rising up and this is your opportunity to jump on it and make the right decision. Um, and spirit is telling you, you know, what's coming in quick is is you being on your own, Sagittarius, and building up those coins, right? Getting your family life, your stability together, okay? Um, this person is very happy. It's a time of focusing on yourself, not rushing towards anything but yourself. Ten of Pentacles, why? Because you're trying to move towards something that um, is long-term, right? Something that is long-term that isn't going to crumble so easy. And it may end up being with this person, but what I'm seeing spirits say right now is first get your money up. First get everything together that you're trying to get together. Create that stability. Create that foundation for yourself and then build on that foundation. Because if you don't have your foundation right now and then you pull something in series, it, it won't last. There'll be nothing for it to grow on, right? So let's take a look here at the outcome between you and this person. Holy Spirit, what is the outcome? between Sagittarius and this person. What is the outcome? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the outcome? Wow. Let's take a look. All right. The Magician. So creating your new beginning. Page of Swords. Six of Wands with the Five of Swords on the bottom. So, yeah, I am getting this energy of you kind of creating and manifesting your own new beginning. You're very cautious um, about this situation. I feel that somebody was uh, deceptive here, okay? There is some deception here. Or somebody just wasn't true to the connection. And if that was you, Sagittarius then I feel that you're making the right decision and pulling away. But vice versa, if it was the other person, even more reason. I think that you recognize when you take control of your own future and your own life, you're going to be leveling up because you're trying to accomplish or reach a certain goal right now. And I feel like it's a personal goal, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a goal um, that has to do with your own personal life, your job, your growth in a career, okay? And I think that you're recognizing that this situation of this person may actually be holding you back and not actually helping you move forward into the, <coughs> forgive me, <coughs> into the direction that you want to go. All right, my loves, thank you so much for tuning in. This was your Clear Love Weekly. If you're interested in a personal, all that information is below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.